Big Brother's getting older, you know, so you got to follow him along. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to be pushing his wheelchair, so. Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global at the Garden. Not long to fight that now, I'm joined by Andre Rosier. And who have we got here? Gary Stark Senior. Okay, you gave some speech up there. Thank you, thank you. You're fully confident that your man Sergei comes for on Saturday night? Well, listen, we, we've had Sergei since the, when he first came here to the United States. And um, we worked with him together entirely uh, until he and Danny boxed against each other. And I didn't want it to happen, Gary didn't want it to happen, but it wasn't our hours to be to make that decision. So they fought and we hadn't been together for two fights, but now the team is back together, strong, fully loaded and ready to go. I did, you have brought Danny up, I did want to touch upon Danny before we come on to Saturday night's fight. Um, how did that relationship break off? Um, was it was there was there a fallout or did you part on good terms? What are you talking about? With Danny Jacobs. When uh, he fought Sergey? No, as in after, since he's left the gym, did it part on good terms? How was it? Well, I mean, we we haven't parted, so we're I don't. You're still working together. I don't know where that came from. Okay, I heard that he's out in Vegas, Danny. Trent. Yeah, well, yeah, he's been moved because we've been busy in California with Sergey. Okay, so you are still working together. There yeah. were rumors circulating on Twitter, I think. Right. Um, maybe because he's gone out to Vegas, people were just assuming that he right, has left. Okay, right. so you're still working together. Uh, well, I haven't, I haven't heard otherwise, so I can't say at this point in time. But at, until somebody tells me, like Danny Jacobs, then so be it. Mm. He's, I think, four to one on, sir, guy. Uh, what do you make of them odds? Um, I think it's, I think it's gonna be a closer fight than them, four to one odds. Um, we trained hard. It's, it, it, they're both Olympians. Sergey's twenty-three and one in that World Series of boxing. You know, so he was the champion in the World Series of Boxing. He's a smart fighter. It's going to be a good fight. I think the only thing Triple G got on us might be a little power. I think the ring smarts, the movement, the speed could be Sergey. So it's going to be a real interesting fight. So what happened with the Canelo fight? Why didn't that materialize? I don't know. You know, the powers that be behind boxing, you know how it goes. We're, we're, we're sitting on the outside and we hear everything and who might not. Now maybe. He, saw, he looked at somebody's wife and they got upset and it just went down. And, that's boxing for you. I don't know why it didn't happen, but this situation is uh, just as good and we're going to make the most out of it by having Sergey become the middleweight champ of the world. Mm. He's chased this Golovkin fight for what, a year now? It's been about a year, yes. Yeah, finally got it. Uh, you believe the timing's right? Well, it's now, so God has placed it in our hands. So if it's not right now, I don't know when it's going to be right. <laughs> That's going to be right for him because he's 37 years old, 36. He's close to 37. So this is this is probably the best time for him in his career. We're a little younger, so I mean, you know, if you look at that, if you look at it that way, it, it, it sort of benefits him a little, but it's good for us because we're younger. There's a debate about Gennady, isn't there, whether he's over the hill, but then people say, some people say he won both fights against Canelo. How did you have his fights against Canelo, the first and second one? Well, I definitely had him winning the first fight. The second fight was very close, could have went either way. Uh, of course, you know, Canelo is the king of the land, so he received the grace of the, the decision. And basically, uh, there were moments where the interpretation of the bout were in Canelo's favor, so I'm not angry with the second fight. First one, almost like a, uh, it was almost like a con job, but it is what it is. So you don't believe we've seen the best, best of Gennady? Uh, no, no, not at all. He, he always comes ready to fight. You have to be ready to fight him, and um, you're going to see 12 rounds of fantastic action. Mm. I mean, if he, he grabs the IBF title, I know the IBO is in the line, but he's then got the keys to, to the Canelo fight, the, the possible Andrade fight as well. Exactly. Yeah. There, I mean, there's great bouts on the horizon with all of these fantastic middleweights, and uh, we're happy to have one of the best middleweights on the planet, and Sergey, the technician, Devinchenko, representing to his full force and capacity. So. We're sitting in a wonderful position. We we'll definitely look forward to it. It's a Kazakh and a Ukrainian making history at uh, MSG. It'll be a great event. Dre, Gary, anything you want to add before we close off? Come out Saturday night, be at Madison Square Garden. Havoc is going to be in the house. And you know we're in the hurt business and we're going to make this our special moment. 
Sergey, the technician, Dervinchenko, the new middleweight champion of the world. Thank you, Joe. Anything you want to add, Gary, to that? Great fight, great fight. Top man, thanks for your time. Thank Cheers. you, thank you.